this baby boy who's come to earth to bring us joy and i just want to sing this song to you it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall the major lift with every breath i'm singing hallelujah expecting child they searched the inn to find a place for you were coming soon there was no room for them to stay so in a manger filled with hay god's only son was born shepherds left their flocks by night to see this baby wrapped in light a host of angels led them all to you it was just as the angel said you'll find him in a manger bed shine bright up in the east to Bethlehem the wise men three came many miles and journeyed long for you and to the place at which you were the frankincense and golden myrrh they gave to you Good evening and welcome to our celebration of the Christmas Eve Mass. Please join us in our opening hymn number 329A in the Catholic Book of Worship 3, O Come All Ye Faithful, and we will be doing all four verses. Oh, 
virgin's womb. Our very God be God in our created. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Sing choirs of angels. Sing in exaltation, sing all his citizens of heaven above. Glory to God in the highest. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord among us, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. It's a beautiful experience to be all together, to be in person, to have arrived here uh, safely. Uh, do be very careful when you are uh, driving home and you're uh, departing the, the parking lot. It is a very, very slippery. It's a beautiful evening to come to celebrate the nativity of, of our Lord, who was Lord among us, Emmanuel, God with us. Today, uh, this night, marks a beautiful occasion in the life of the church. The Lord has taken his place in human history. Mary's yes becomes the the gift of um, salvation history. And we all can participate in this by allowing ourselves to um, have that sort of manger in our heart where Christ can take up his residence. So we open ourselves to the mercy of God. Kyrie, Kyrie, Eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie, Eleison. Christe, Christe, Eleison. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. 
we give you thanks for your great glory. O God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, pray save our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who gladden your, us year by year as we await in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our Judge, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shone. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you, as with joy at the harvest. As people exult when dividing plunder, for the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of the Midian, for a child has been born to us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness. From this time onward and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of the host will do this. The word of the Lord. Today our Savior is born, today our Savior is born. This is the day, this is the day, Christ our Savior is born. Today our Savior is born, today our Savior is born. This is the day, this is the day. Our Savior is born. Sing to our God a joyful song. Everyone bless God's name. Tell of God's wondrous deeds. Sing to all the world. Today our Savior is born. Today our Savior is born. the day Christ our Savior is born. Heaven be glad and earth rejoice, let every ocean roar, every forest, every tree joins the song of joy. Today our Savior is born, today Savior is born. This is the day, this is the day, Christ.
Christ our Savior is born. Cry out with joy, for God has come, come to rule the earth. God will rule the world with love, righteousness, and truth. Today our Savior is born. Today Savior is born. This is the day, this is the day Christ our Savior is born. A letter from Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, where we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who is zealous for good deeds, the word of the Lord. gospel according to Luke. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This first registration took place when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone went to be registered, each in his own city. And while they were there, the time came for... Oh. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David which is called Bethlehem. He did this because he was of the house and lineage of David to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to have her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling claws and laid him in a manger, because there were no place for them in the inn. In the region where the shepherds out in the fields, they were keeping watch over their flocks through the night.
And an angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherd, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people, for you were born this day in the city of David, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling and cloths lying in the manger. And suddenly there was an angel of multitude of the heavenly host praising to God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened that the Lord has made known to us. The shepherds went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Once they saw, they understood what had been told them concerning this child. All who heard it were astonished at what the shepherds had told them. Mary treasured all these things and reflected on them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear friends, uh, today it was born a Savior. He is Christ the Lord. I'm sure all of you have a, a beautiful crash, a scene, a manger scene perhaps that comes to mind over this uh, Christmas season. I think all of us probably do. Maybe it's a childhood memory, a beautiful crash that uh, has nostalgia, sentimental. It's been in the family for years, and we put that together with a, a beautiful uh, Christmas tree. But I suppose tonight, um, there's nothing really that can replace uh, that, that human uh, touch of having our children come together and uh, to display for us that moving scene of the shepherds, the magi, Mary and Joseph, the baby Jesus, the Christ child. And there are the lambs, there are the sheep, there are the oxen. It stirs our imagination and we can almost, well, we may not want to, but we can almost, with the aroma <laughs> in the air, imagine what that scene was like. It was um, abject poverty that our Lord was born into. And I suppose those picturesque ideals that we have of it don't really bear 
all the truth. That poverty was an amazing way that the Lord came into this world. And what does he show for it? Well, there's a hidden power that the Lord um, reveals to us. He's wrapped in swaddling clothes, he's lying in a manger, and he becomes totally defenseless. He is totally dependent upon his mother, upon good Saint Joseph. He needs to be protected and watched over. He needs to be fed. And where is he born? He leaves Nazareth because Joseph is a line of Judah and he's going to the census. And what happens is he's born in Bethlehem, which means the living bread. The manger becomes that living bread. And Jesus will become uh, bread for us. There's always um, beautiful depictions of these manger scenes of the crash. But we, I think we also have to realize that we're there to learn from what the Lord teaches us. Humility, docility to really the will of God. Um, just as the shepherds and the magi were obedient in a sense to the signs, so we too must uh, give ourselves in that humble submission uh, to the one who is a baby, but the master, the teacher, the savior of the world. That's, I think, what ignites our imagination tonight as we've seen our, our youngsters uh, display or portray a living manger scene, a living crash. So let us uh, tonight allow our minds and hearts to be drawn into this wondrous mystery as Christ becomes Emmanuel, God with us. In response to God's holy word, we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who has conceived the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge living the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We've come to celebrate the mystery of the Word made flesh. Let us pray that the love of God revealed this night will, will shine in our hearts that we will have a great solidarity with those who are poor among us. Let us pray that we, our lives will be enlightened uh, by our brothers and sisters and the light of Christ. The response of your psalm is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church and all Christians who gather to worship this evening, for all who lead us in praising God for sending us his son, for, for those who join in the shepherds and angels to ponder the mystery of Christ's birth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the smashing, for the smashing of all unjust yokes, and destruction of all weapons of war. For those in many lands who are affected by the violence and natural disasters, for those who bring the good news of great joy and peace to others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your spirit of hospitality to, least, to the least of Jesus' brothers and sisters, for those who must work in this season and all who are alone, 
for the renewal of our spirits by the wonder and awe of the season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the, for the sick and those who lack food, work, shelter, warmth, or friendship, for those separated from their loved ones or traveling, for the gift of salvation for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the presence of Jesus in our family's gift giving and meal sharing, for those who have died recently, including Lorraine Stafford, and for those for the fulfillment of God's salvation, and for all our deceased relatives and friends, for the people of the parish, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions that we bring in the, the depth of our heart this Christmas night. We pray in a special way uh, for the safety of all travelers and uh, that we um, always give glory to God for this wonderful gift of his birth. Hear our prayers, O gracious Father. Let the radiance of your glory enlighten the lives of those who celebrate the nativity of your only begotten Son. Fill the world with this night, with the light no darkish, darkness can extinguish. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us in our offertory hymn, number 332 in the Catholic Book of Worship 3, Silent Night. In between each of the verses of Silent Night, I will do something special for you. <laughs> Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep. shadows this cold endless night frozen in the snow lie roses sleeping flowers that will echo the sunrise far of hope is our only warmth weary its flame will Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight, glory stream from heaven afar, heavenly hosts sing alleluia. Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Voice in the distance, call in the night. On wind you enfold us, you speak of the light. Gentle on the Rumors of a dawn so embracing, breathless love awaits darkened souls. Soon we will know of the morning. Silent night, holy night. So Radiant beams from
from thy holy face with the dawn of redeeming grace jesus lord at thy birth jesus lord at thy birth spirit among us shine like the star your light that guides shepherds and kings from afar shimmer in the sky so empty lonely rising in the warmth of your sun's love star unknowing of night and day spirit we wait for your loving son pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours and may be acceptable to god the almighty father lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good as we look forward, O oh Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly, for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginning of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just how do you need our salvation? Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our minds, so that as we recognize in the God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And with the angels, archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We are pledged. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Eucharistic prayer three. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. They may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one Spirit in Christ, may make of us an eternal offering to you, so we may obtain an inheritance with your life, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence. We rely for unfailing help. Be the sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, and advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, and your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you gain for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. We will hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. To him and with him and in him. O God Almighty, Father, and the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Us together pray the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace, the Lord, with you all. And with your Let's offer each other a sign of Christmas peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Who oh, grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not with you to stand unto my roof, but as the word of my soul shall be healed. stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, oh, hear the angel voice. was born, O night, O holy night, O night divine, led by the light of faith serenely beaming with glowing hearts by his cradle we stand. Over the world a star is sweetly gleaming. Now come the wise man from the Orient land. The King of Kings lay thus in lowly manger in a
Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus. Look down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus. I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me i pray bless all the dear children in thy tender care and fit us for heaven to live with thee there
Let us pray. Uh, grant, O Lord, we pray, to may draw new vigor from celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son, whose heavenly mystery we receive both food and drink, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Tonight there's a solemn blessing on this, the uh, first uh, Christmas day. The Lord be with you. May the God of infinite goodness, by whose incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth illumine this most holy night, drive far from you the darkness of vice, and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God, who willed that the great joy of his Son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his holy gospel. Amen. May God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill with the gift of his peace and favor, and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, uh, thanks be to God. Your friends, it's always a beautiful Christmas tradition to bring the children uh, to the creche. Just to re remind us all the, to adore the Lord, to, to give thanks and express our, our gratitude for all that the Lord uh, has done. So if the families would like to make their way after Mass to the creche, that would be beautiful. I know the kids will be eager to get right to bed because someone is, is coming. Now, if the children here... If you, if you know Mr. Claus really well, if you could send the sleigh over here so that the reindeer will take me over to Lombardy, Blessed Sacrament, <laughs> for the 6.30 Mass and drop off some gifts to you, fly me back for the Midnight Mass, i would be greatly appreciative of that. But uh, I'll try to make my way over. I have the skidoo in the garage, so we're, we're ready to go um, for, for sure. I want to express my gratitude uh, for the parishioners who welcome me here to uh, Smith Falls, St. Francis, and, and Blessed Sacrament. I was asked recently, Father, how do you like it? How do you like it? I said, I, I don't like it. They said, oh, Father. Uh, and then I had a little twinkle in my eye. I said, well, I, I really started to love it. <laughs> so as I get to, to know the people and as the people get to know me, um, we're going to try to work together, and that's really the whole objective here, isn't it? Um, that we'll have uh, some wonderful uh, celebrations together, and I want to express my gratitude for the music, uh, for the pageant. Marlene has done a, a magnificent job getting everyone organized and uh, having their parts memorized. Uh, I want to thank Robbie for, for serving. Uh, for our lectors, uh, for all those who decorated the church. Uh, I came in the church and everything was decorated. <laughs> it just appeared. But I know there's a lot of hard work that uh, goes into uh, behind the scenes, so I want to express my gratitude for the, toward the decorating committee, the liturgy committee, and, and those who work so hard, uh, uh, sacristans, lectors, extra Eucharistic ministers uh, to really uh, give themselves to, to the parish that they, that they love. So Merry Christmas to all and uh, to, to all a, a good night. <laughs> one, of the, one of the highlights uh, in our parish will be our Christmas dinner. You know for many years it's been a tradition here at, at St. Francis to be really in solidarity with the poor. We have a Wednesday luncheon that Pat and her team uh, provide a, a meal uh, for some 140 people every Wednesday. This is a, a, a big uh, task 
and uh, it needs uh, volunteers, and always it needs uh, support, uh, financial support. So we thank you for uh, the support of the parish. We also thank you for providing that Christmas dinner that will go out tomorrow, and I'll be driving, and people have been cooking turkeys and making things. It's been quite a orchestrated project, so thank you to Pat and all the the team of, of volunteers. It'll be a very enjoyable meal for many who might otherwise uh, go without. So we thank you, thank you for that. Also, I was at um, Food Basics with a check uh, because we sponsored uh, 35 families and uh, it's a wonderful opportunity um, to help out those in need in our, in our community. So thank you uh, for your, your generosity. We have a tradition here to pray to St. Michael the Archangel to watch over us. Um, many of you will be traveling, just, just take your time. <laughs> and uh, we'll pray to our Blessed Mother too. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray to thou, O Prince of heavenly hosts, the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Special thanks to our musicians tonight, uh, just uh, with the beautiful hymns, really helped us to enter into the uh, spirit of the Holy Mass this evening. So thank you very much. So please join us in our closing hymn number 328 in the Catholic Book of Worship 3, Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature her sing. And heaven and nature her sing. And to heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let us our songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love. 